the public beta for DaVinci Resolve 18.5 is out. It's been out for, you know, a few days. It's pretty cool. There's lots of really fun stuff in there. We've got auto captions on the timeline. We've got uh, transcription text-based editing in the media pool. Uh, Fusion has this really cool, like, new 3D system that seems, like, like really cool. And I've just started diving into, hey, we got a multi-merge in Fusion. Really cool, like, audio groups. But, but, there is one feature um, that I really think is the one feature that everyone who uses DaVinci Resolve should know about and really um, should be using um, whenever they need to, which probably I think is pretty often. So don't get distracted by all the flashy AI stuff. Um, we're gonna talk about the render cache. Yay! I've done several videos on the render cache now. It is super important if you want smooth playback or if you are dealing with like intensive color grades or intensive fusion effects. And if you don't know about the render cache or you have it set up, you know, suboptimally, it could be absolutely eating up uh, all the uh, empty space on your hard drive. I'll link to some of my videos uh, generally about the render cache below. Really, I should put them in a, in a playlist. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but there is a new feature in 18.5 um, specifically about your render cache. Let me show it to you. This is just a project where I was showing off uh, the recent a AI subtitles and also using them with my subtitle plugin. We made this. This video. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! Anyway, <laughs> no matter what project you are in, you can come up to playback, delete render cache, Manage cache data. Ooh, this is exciting. I just click that and I see every project I have made and if, wow. <laughs> and I will see the render cache for all of those projects. Uh, a fair bit of them, you know, I haven't needed to generate any render cache. Uh, but uh, for some of them, <laughs> We've got 257 gigabytes. We've got 270 gigabytes, you know, two gigabytes here. This is, I think, oh, 22 megabytes. Some of them are eating up a lot of space on my hard drive. Previously, you could uh, delete the render cache inside a project, but only for that project. If you wanted to view um, all of your render cache data, you had to find the actual uh, specific folder on your hard drive, and then you could delete everything there. But this is much easier. Hey, uh, I'm gonna free up uh, over 500 gigabytes of data by clicking this, clicking that, and click clear cache. It is clearing those out, uh, deleting tens of thousands of files. I'm gonna let that sit. It's counting up. 50,000, 60, oh, 70. Uh, the way cache files work are, are, are different. But hey, we're passing 100,000 of these cache files. Over 500 gigabytes. I don't know how many files that will be, but you can just sit back, let Resolve do its thing, um, and clear up in this, in this case, over 500 gigabytes. If you have never run this process, and you've been using Resolve for a while, um, this will probably blow you away, if not um, free up the majority of your hard drive backup. By the way, wow, this is counting up over 200,000. Wow. Hey, it's done. Uh, those, those specific uh, folders are set back to uh, zero. Oh, I should have actually checked my hard drive beforehand. But hey, you can trust this. I now have 500 gigabytes more space on my hard drive. But like I was saying, if you have never run this process and you've been using Resolve for a while, especially um, when you've had to kick on that render cache to get smooth playback, um, this is truly gonna be an essential uh, and helpful tool to you. A big part of this factor is the specific file you are choosing to uh, render those cache files as. So along with that playlist, I'm also gonna have a link to a specific video talking over um, the, sort of those file descriptions can help you save uh, even more space. But this cache manager is new in 18.5. If you use this, absolutely leave a comment telling me how much space you have freed up. It can sneak up on you. Those were just two recent projects over 500 gigabytes of space. Um, I did not expect that. This new feature might have gone under the radar for a lot of you. I don't want any of you to miss it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.